सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू कोड फ्लिक्स सो इफ यू आर मेकिंग अ वेबसाइट एंड यू हैव थ्री पेजेज इन इट एंड यू हैव टू इंक्लूड अ नैव बार विच इज़ फिक्सड ऑन एवरी पेज एंड इज सेम सो देर आर आई द टू ऑप्शन फॉर यू फर्स्ट इज दैट यू कैन हार्ड कोड योर नैव बार फॉर ईच पेज द सेम कोड टू बी रिटर्न ऑन थ्री पेजेस और द सेकेंड मेथड इज दैट यू कैन इंक्लूड द नैव बार इन ईच पेज सो वॉट यूल डू इज make only one file and include it in all the three pages which you will be needing so today we will see the include method and then we'll include the partial templates using that include method so so this is our app.js file which we have used up till now so there is a profile page there is a contact page and there is a home page so i have already started running it so i'll open the browser and type the local host so this is the home page and if i type profile in the url and give a name tom then this is what appears and if we want to check the contact page then here is the contact page now what if we want to include the nav bar in each and every page so what we'll do is we'll include a partial template so for that first of all we'll create a new folder called partials in the views folder so as you can see a new folder named partials is created inside the views folder and then in this folder i'll make a new file I'll give it a name nav dot ejs. Remember to give the extension ejs. Then save it. Then I'll create a simple nav bar here. So this is a nav bar, nav tag, and then I'll give simple ul tag. And inside that I'll give two simple li tags. first is for home i'll close this and second is for contact and i'll close this again and then i'll give an a to this to make it a link and href for now i keep this a empty and doesn't give any link close this the same will be here a href close this and close this a so our nav bar is ready so now we will use the include method to include it in each and every page so first of all i'll look at the contact.ejs page so here in the body section just when it starts i'll write here the opening bracket and the percentage symbol remember in the profile page we use this opening bracket and percentage symbol for template engines we don't need the equal to because we don't need to put data so we will need only this opening bracket and percentage so i'll use that then i'll close that using percentage and closing bracket and then i'll write include and then the name of the folder that is partials slash and then the name of the file nav dot ejs so that's it the template engine will automatically look in the views folder and then it will go in the partial folder and then look for nav dot ejs now if i save this and run it again if i refresh this so you can see a uh, home and a contact nav is created so i'll include it in every page so i'll go to the profile page and i'll do i'll copy this line select this and copy it as it is here also and then so once i have saved this and now i go to the browser and then i type the local host so this is the sample page now if i go to the contact page it will be like this and now if i go to the profile page of tom 
so you can see here it is also included now if i want to make any changes to the nav bar let's say i want to make this link working so i'll go to the nav.ejs file and just type here a slash and here i'll type slash contact then i'll save it and so you don't need to save it in both the pages you can just make changes in this file and the changes will be reflected on the browser so now i refresh it so it is refreshed now if i type home so as you can see it is diverted us to the home page now if i type the contact page it has taken you to the contact page and if i type home click home then it is taking you to the home page so you don't need to make changes again and again you have to just make changes in one file and it will re get reflected in other pages also so this is all about partial templates thanks for watching